Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 2, and we are here in San Francisco. In the last part, we uh, explored San Francisco as thoroughly as we could, um, and the Emperor of San Francisco wants the vertebrate plans just like the Brotherhood of Steel do. I'm not sure if that's a choice, um, but I would side with the Brotherhood of Steel first, because I don't know what the Emperor wants to do. And um, apparently there's a submarine and a tanker. The submarine will shoot down the tanker if we just go for the tanker, and uh, the Arroyo villages were captured and sent to an offshore base which is uh, not as pleasant as I wanted it to be. Anyway, we are back here, and uh, we have basically two places to go. The military base, which is there, or we could try go back to Navarro and see if there's a way to work around that. So, um, we can give Navarro one more shot. If we kill the guy on the... Don't encounter... No. If we kill the guy... Guarding. I'm not sure if there's a way to, uh... I hate these water things. I wish there was some pathfinding. Um... Pack of centaurs. No, I, I do not want to encounter a pack of centaurs or fire geckos. Get to Navarro. Why are there so many encounters today? Enclave patrol. No, definitely not. All right. I mean, we could try killing him. Ever hear of the Enclave? Are they around here? I want to join. I mean, we could kill him pretty quick. It won't take much. How many hit points? 74? Let's just try shoot him in the eyes. I was hit by that flamer as well. Marcus, you gotta be careful about that. Anyway, he just has a radio, which we will take. Can we use that radio for anything? That does nothing. I mean, if I... put it here, can I... Huh. We can use the radio, but it doesn't show anything. Anyway, we killed that guy. Which means we could check down here one more time. Just moving some windows around, by the way. Okay, there we go. So we looked down here before. But as soon as we walked through this door, that guy attacked us. That guard. And I don't see any other way around. Or where the vertebrate plans would be. I mean, there's lots of people in power armor. Lots of scientists. This door we can't get through. Like, if I ask all these what do you want? people to wait here... I'll just stay here. Yes, just, just wait here. Let me try going alone. What's up? You got that? Wait here, yep. Well, alright. And Sulik. What you be needing? Uh, wait here. Want to take a little nap? Talk to Grampy. Welcome to the stream, Dimjaro Rausk. Good evening. Alright, so I'm leaving my companions there. The guards don't seem to move. I mean, can I just... Oh, I better put away my weapon, of course. If I open this door and walk through... Oh! They don't attack on sight. Okay, if that's the case, let's put another save right here. Navarro. 
Maybe they attacked me last time because I had companions? Well, let's avoid talking to anyone. What is that? A plasma rifle? Oh, this is... This is very good stuff. I can't carry all this, but... That plasma rifle's pretty good. Advanced power armor? Ho 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 Um... I need to pick this up. At all costs. Let me just dump my ammo in that The power armor will give me strength. Can I just... just... Give me the power armor. Power armor. Advanced power armor. Okay, so currently, my armor class is 30, 5, 8, 4, 4, 6, 40, 15, 19, 16. It's insanely better. 5, 8, 4, 4, 6, 15, 19, 16, 15, 20. Ooh, and my strength is put up by 9 compared to what it was before. 5. That means my carrying capacity goes from 110 to 210. Well, now I blend in as well. Let's take my stuff back. I can carry it all. Now there's some ammo here. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. We've got advanced power armor. Now I do know that there are playthroughs of Fallout 2 that tell you how to get the advanced power armor right at the start of the game. I never read those guides because it seems... Blue memory module? Uh, it seems way too exploity to do that. Plastic explosives, grenades... I can't carry that much. It's okay, I don't need to use grenades, but I will... Um, I don't need mentats. I want to take uh, these. At least one of them. No? Don't need that. Give me one of these. Never know when uh, plastic explosives could come in handy. Ooh, there's a table as well. Can I... Search this stuff? Oh, there's nothing on the table. How about this table? No, okay. So we got a blue memory module. And this power armor, so it's fantastic. Um... I'm gonna put this under a new save. Just in case something messes up, because I want to try to talk to people. What happens? The Quartermaster. I'm busy right now, come back later. Alright. Guard in combat armor? Nothing going on with me, how about you? Nothing to report. Do, do these people say the same thing if I'm not wearing the power armor? You better report to the sergeant to, and get suited up. Who's the sarge? I'm overloaded. Yeah, that's fine. Is this the sarge? You see, someone in power armor. Intruder alert, cold red. Okay. <laughs> that is, yeah, immediate death. The waste Okay, so let's... The Sarge must be the Quartermaster, right? So if I were to take this off and talk to the Quartermaster, does he just tell me to get suited up? Even if I'm wearing this Vault 13 suit? Why are you out of uniform, soldier? Uh, well... Uh, what? Can't think of a good excuse? I'm waiting. I don't have a uniform yet. Are you new here? I don't recall seeing you before. Yes, I'm new here. Ah, well you need to get s your standard issue then. Go into the armory, suit up, and take your weapon. You should report to the drill sergeant afterwards. You're welcome. Now get out of here, I've got work to do. This guy's surprisingly nice for a military-based quartermaster. Um, suit it up. And we're supposed to report to the drill sergeant. Which I guess is this guy. Sir, what's your business here? Hi, I'm new here. 
You must be lost then. This is the base commander's office. Nobody's allowed here unless the old man sends for you. Nobody sees him? Nobody. Well, just the cleaning groom. They usually come by here in an hour or so. Other than that, this place is off limits. Now you better head on out. Okay. Who's the drill sergeant then? Is it... Oh, there's a... a that's a downstairs. Okay. Um, let's uh, look around first. How do I get in there? This way? Let's ask these scientists about this death claw. Can I ask this guard? No. A tech? A tech? Yes, soldier. Just, uh, I, I can't ask what is this place. I don't know, wait, maybe I could. This is the, the lab. What is this place? This is the computer room. That's the mainframe over there. The interface terminal is next to it. And these devices are the holotape data storage units. This is the latest and greatest. So what do you do here? I'm the senior computer analyst. I get to maintain all of the equipment here. Say, can I use your system for a minute? You know, check it out. Well, I'm not supposed to allow anyone rather other than trained personnel to use the equipment. It's all rather complex and delicate, you understand. I promise not to break it. I'm sorry, but it's out of the question. I'm not even supposed to allow enlisted personnel in the room, let alone allow them to use the equipment. All right, I understand. So I could try hacking the computer. What is this thing? That's the computer. Computer console. Who are you? I hope you have a good reason for interrupting my work, soldier. I wanted to ask you some questions. Very well. I have to live with you, Grant, so I might as well make an effort to get along with you. Who are you? My name is Schreber, Dr. Schreber. I'm the base physician, among other things. Don't bother uh, with your name, soldier. All of you grunts look the same in that power armor. Uh, what do you do? Work as a base physician, but that's just a sideline. I'm actually a geneticist. Uh, what's a geneticist? I really don't think you have the intellectual capacity to understand my work. Let's just say that I can customize people or animals. What is this place? This was the base med lab. However, I felt that my experiments took precedence over the minimal medical needs of the soldiers here, so I had to convert it into a lab. Why is this room soundproofed? In the course of my research, I perform experiments on test subjects. Sometimes I get a little vocal. The base commander found this to be disturbing, so he had the soundproofing installed. That means we could totally shoot him in this room and no one would hear, basically, is what he's saying. Um, what do you want to know? Why is there a death claw in the other room? Big, brown, and ugly? It's an experiment that I've recently completed. It's scheduled for termination. Why are you going to kill it? The Enclave have been looking for cheap, expendable soldiers. We are interested in death claws because they have built-in armor and weapons. They are mean as hell. They just need to be smarter so they can understand commands, but not too smart or they can develop a will of their own. With me so far? Ah, the death claws in Vault 13. Maybe those got too smart, but they were a creation of the Enclave? Well, we succeeded. We actually managed to increase their intelligence. However, I began to suspect that we went too far, that maybe they were a lot smarter than they were letting on. So when I was transferred here, I brought one of them with me so I could put my theory to the test. And I was right. The death claws have apparently been playing dumb biding their time and trying to learn as much as they can from us. They can even mimic human speech. I've actually had a conversation with that fellow in the next room. Anyway, the fact that they were capable of conceiving this plan and pulling it off, the deception shows just how dangerous they are. So what do you plan to do now? I'm going to write a report on my findings and have it transmitted to the Enclave. Of course, I'll have to recommend the extermination of the Deathclaw breed. They are much too dangerous a threat. I can can I kill the death claw for you? Uh, say, Doc, are you sure this room is soundproof? Of course, I'm sure. Commander would have a fit. Otherwise, why? <laughs> I don't want to, anyone to hear. I was just curious. What's with the dog statue? Oh yeah, what's with the dog statue by the door? That is K9, my dog. I decided to see if I uh, I could cyber enhance his intelligence. It worked, but he developed a bad case of morals? He decided he didn't like my work or me much, and he bit me. As punishment, I dis disabled his legs, but left him pretty much functional otherwise. Now he gets to sit there and watch every distasteful thing I do. Can he be fixed? Oh yes, I removed his motivator circuit and gave it to Raoul upon maintenance. It could 
always be put back in. Maybe I'll do that someday just to see if he's changed his attitude. I must go now. Canine. New companion? You see a cyber dog. You are not my master. I cannot speak to you. Goodbye. Okay. Is it possible to open this door? Sorry, soldier, that area is off limits. The base personnel, I have to ask you to leave. Doc wants me to. I don't want to lie just yet. We can quick save. Let's see if we can do something with this death claw. I knew the bastard wouldn't have the balls to do it himself. Oh no, it's okay. One of us gets fucked up. <laughs> oh well. Go on in. Good luck, soldier. Thanks. Let's uh, see if we can talk to this Deathclaw. Can I keep this door closed? Okay. Zarn the Deathclaw. Greetings, human. I am the warrior Zarn. Are you to be my executioner? I don't know. I'd like to know why you are here. Zarin stares at you intently for a moment. Very well. The Enclave created my people as a slave warrior race. They enhanced our intellect, hoping we could better understand their commands and yet not recognize our status as slaves. They failed. We are much more intelligent than they suspect. We decided to play the fool until we could gain our freedom. Our chance arrived when the Enclave decided to test us outside their control. Here on the mainland, Dr. Schreber... Oh, he started off the mainland? Opposed their decision, but he was overruled. Hmm. Not accepting the Enclave decision, he chose exile. Oh. Is he not part of the Enclave? To this base captured... Uh, he just, oh, he chose exile to this base. Okay, he's still part of the Enclave, but not on the, the offshore base. Captured me and he has been forming experiments to determine my true nature. He has been successful. When he reports his findings to the Enclave, my people will be hunted down and slain. I must escape and warn my people. If this guy is such a threat, then why don't you just kill him? Ah, sigh. I recently began to consider just such an action, even though it is not my way to kill. I'm certain the doctor noticed because he stopped seeing me in person. The choice is no longer mine to make. Thanks for the story, it was interesting. I would ask you to help me escape this place, will you? Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I like your people. Uh, you are my last hope, so I will place my trust in you. That door over there leads to an air shaft that exits into the woods above. I should be able to climb the shaft and gain my freedom. However, the door is securely locked and requires a pass key to open. Find the key, unlock the door, and grant my freedom. Okay. How do I get the pass key to this door? Requires a pass key to unlock. Nothing in these lockers, right? All right. Anyway, we are here for the vertebrate plans. Oh, there's a bookcase in the med bay here. Let's see if there's anything interesting there. Cat Paws Magazine. I'm so happy I got power armor. <laughs> We're now finally a force to be reckoned with. All right, are these lifts? These are elevators, right? Are they all the same? Yeah. Let's quick save right here. We are on one. Ground is up one. Okay. Must be the base upstairs. The one we couldn't get into earlier. Ah. Where am I? Oh, I'm there. A vertebrate. So, we were here earlier. Okay, let's talk to people. Yes, soldier? I'm new here. I'm trying to get familiar with the base. Can I ask you some questions? Sure, I've got a few minutes. What is this place? Air traffic control room. From here we can track all vertebrate movements. Alright. What's your job? Computer technician, first class. I maintain the link to the mainframe below. Good, keep up the good work. Where is the Enclave main base located? Didn't you come here from there? 
No, actually I'm from up north. Oh, I didn't know we had an outpost up there. Anyway, the main base is off the coast of San Fran a ways. Well, how do we get there? By vertebrate, of course. There is no other way unless you have a ship. It's way too far to swim. Can I ask about the vertebrate plans? Vertebrate plans. I don't see why you would need to know that. I suggest you talk to maintenance next door. Got it. Okay. Maintenance next door. Someone in military uniform. Feel free to look, but don't touch. That means there's something to do if we touch. Oh, these are turrets. Plasma turrets. Can I... T I can talk to the plasma turret? I guess not. <laughs> Anyways, this maintenance? A mechanic? I'm just a junior. You'll want to talk to Quincy. There's a truck. Name's Quincy, soldier. Why are you tapping my shoulder and looking lost? Hi, I need to ask you something. Alright, but make it quick. Uh, what is this place? This is maintenance. We repair pretty much anything except for the vertebrates. Where do the vertebrates get repaired? They only fit in the hangar or outdoors. You figure it out from there, okay? Oh yeah, I got it. I was told by a tech that I could find the vertebrate plans here. A tech told you? You mean Raul? Did he send you? Yeah, that's the guy. Damn it, you know Raul would lose his head if it weren't placed so firmly up his ass. <laughs> this is the third time this quarter that he's lost those plans, and now he doesn't even have the brass bouncing balls to come to me and ask for them? Fine. They're in the locker over there. Oh, and when you deliver them, tell that asshole I want to see him. Thanks. In the locker? Which one? Left or right? Vertebrate plans. We actually got them. Oh, fantastic. Combat armor. I could do with that as... I can't lift it. What can I put down? What are these? Microfusion cells? Small energy cells? I want that combat armor for, like, Cassidy or someone. Let's put down some of this ammo. No? Put that down. No? What's weighing me down? This plasma rifle is weighing me down. I don't need Mentats. Let's put another one of those down. We can... We actually got plenty of microfusion. We don't need those. There we go. And can I lift any more of these? Okay, there we go. Combat armor, yes! I don't want my allies dying so quickly either. But we got the vertebrate plans. Quick save. What else is out here? There's vertebrates. Now where's Raul? Raul is... This guy? Sorry man, but I don't have time to chit chat, you know? I want to get this bird working. The doc wants to fix his dog. He sent me for the part. Hey man, it's in the locker over there. Take it and tell the doc Raul says hi. Thanks. It's in the locker. They're basically telling me, please loot this place. Cosmetics case. The cat's paw. Guns and bullets. I'm already maxed on guns and bullets. K9 motivator. Oh, I'm s still weighed down. I guess I don't need the plastic explosives. No. Let's put some of that down. How heavy is this thing? Super toolkit gek. Why do I have two combat shotguns? Okay. Let's check this locker as well. There's so many lockers. Technical manual. Okay, we, we can... What's a technical manual do? Can I use it? No? Well, I can read the first aid book. I don't know if the technical manual is important. Alright, we'll have to come back for all this ammo. A lighter... Dean's Electronics. Okay, I can read that. 
what is my my first aid is 60 63 electronics so repair 47 repair is 52 fantastic and I think that's all we can do well what is this building Where's the entrance? Is this the, the chef? You see a cook? Hey soldier, you're looking for some grub or just someone to talk to? Let's chat a while. What do you want to talk about? What's going on around here? Looking for some gossip? I could give you the latest on what's happening in maintenance, med lab or among the grunts. What's going on in maintenance? Raul the vertebrate mechanic doesn't like Quincy. Those who are always getting into it. Raul's an arrogant ass. Quincy's an okay kind of guy. Hope he wins in the end. Med Lab. Taken over by Enclave Egghead named Sherber. Schreber. He was making all kinds of noise, right? Um, what about the grunts? We're talking romance, my friend. It seems one of the computer geeks has fallen for one of the grunts, the guard outside the Med Lab. Even has one of those cutesy names for her, calls her Snooky of all things. Right. Anything else happening? Uh-huh. Okay, that's all. There is one more locker here. Oh, there's a bunch of lockers here, actually. I, I, I don't think I can loot much more. Oh, there's a lock. Okay, that's fine. So the guard outside the med lab is called Snooky? Where do the other, other elevators go up to, though? Or is there a down? This goes down to one. So, this, the guard outside the med lab. This one? I hear you're called Snooky. I think that's cute. What? He told you that? When I get off duty, I'm going to kick his ass. Move along, soldier, and wipe that smoke off your face. All right, I got the repair thing for the K9 unit. Can I close this door? Okay. Can I repair? The K9 motivator. Hmm. I guess I can't repair it just yet. Maybe I gotta kill the doctor. Anyway, that only goes up. Does this elevator go down further? No, it's G01. And I think there was one more down this way. So if I don't know what key card would open that. I mean, I have a bunch of key cards in my car. Where does this go to? Oh, it actually goes to here. Can I just walk out from this side? I gotta get my companions back. Oh. We just immediately die if we walk this way. Okay, we don't walk that way. <laughs> you have died. We, I have died. Let's load back. We are on this quick save. I think this was just before we made fun of Snooky. Well, let's grab our companions. We got the vertebrate plans. Let's bring them back to San Francisco. The Brotherhood wants it, and uh, so does the Emperor. But let's uh, give it to the Brotherhood first. That room down there must have some important stuff. All right, and I got some combat armor too. What do you want? Let's go. You want me back now? Yes, and also, you can take all this heavy weapon stuff. Um, take those. Take this thing. 
And hold on to these boots and rope. Good. Cassidy. What's up? You got the Let's go. And I'm gonna give you combat right, armor. Then. It looks like he's wearing combat armor in his portrait, so it's best you wear that. Combat controls, use best armor. And I'll take his metal armor back. And Sulik. What you be needing? Let's go. And I think he's wearing worse what armor, so needing? let's give him this. I wish these menus went a bit faster. Use best armor. Okay. And we'll take his old armor. There we go. Okay, good. Ah, look at Cassidy. Fantastic. Alright. It seems like we just couldn't come into Navarro before because I think we had our companions on us. Save right there. And let's go back. San Francisco. What is an Enclave Patrol? Well, that's an F7. <laughs> 12 guys in power armor. That is, uh, yeah, we're not dealing with that. Some aliens and death claws. No. Army floaters and centaurs. No. Some aliens? No. San Francisco. There we go. Now I've got power armor and I'm actually quite leveled up. Chinatown. Um, we could probably take on those xenomorphs back at, uh, where is it, Broken Hills? Anyway, we've got the vertebrate plans. Let's talk to this guy. Matthew, have you completed your mission? I got the vertebrate plans for you. 20,000 experience points, 30 karma. Excellent work, let me have the plans and I'll make a copy of them. As promised, I'll give you full access to our facilities. Thank you. You're welcome. I leveled up. More, 36 skill points. Did I gain two levels? I gained two levels. Wow, okay, what should I boost up? Energy weapons, maybe? Speech is 68. I would really like speech to be much higher. Like to 90. Or do I just make it 100? Yeah, we could probably do it some convincing. Uh, besides that, um. Hmm. Just top up energy weapons? I mean, repair is 52, science is 58. Yeah, I think that's good. Get our speech to 100. done all right so we get to use do we have a copy of the vertebrate plans we do well before checking out the brotherhood of steel let's bring the the copy of the vertebrate plans to the emperor ah i thought we had to make a choice but i guess we don't oh but the emperor might not make a copy so uh you gotta do the brotherhood mission first Anyway, here we go. We're now decked in power armor, so I'm not too concerned about being attacked anymore. Uh, unless it's by a bunch of other people in power armor. Anyway, hello. Ken Lee. Uh, you must take the plans to Dr. Wong Yi Tse. Okay, bye. This guy. 
Uh, here. Short Rotund She-Man. Uh, you have certain schematics to give me. Ken, Ken Lee told me to give these to you. Speak to Ken Lee. He shall discuss what happens in your future. Thank you. We shall be able to verify some of our test data with these. Good day. So long. All right, I feel like we're getting very close to the end of Fallout 2 here. Thank you for the vertebrate plans, Traveler. What can I do for you? Can I see the Emperor now? You must complete a second test. The Hubologists are our enemies. Oh, okay. Their leader, AHS9, has been abducting and brainwashing our children. Kill him for a, the good of the she, and I shall tell you how to speak to the Emperor. AHS9. Okay, well, we might actually be equipped to take on the Hubologists now. Good thing I didn't join them. I could say I want to join them, get access to, to their leader. AHS9, is it? Yeah. And kill him. Come on. And then we can check out the Brotherhood. Ah, so I'm not sure if it's required to go to the military base at all. I'm not sure what's there. I mean, I've got advanced power. I'm getting 5,000 experience points for doing that. Huh. Um, is this just a, a door down? All right. Oh, it's a small base. Okay, we can check it out. Um... Or is there another level I'm not seeing? We can check the lockers. They're locked. Is it just a small little thing? What is this? It's a computer. Can I use this computer? Computer console. Welcome, I am Ace, the medical computer. Are you in need of medical assistance? Yes, please state your medical need. I'd like to be stronger, smarter, more perspective. Oh, wow. Huh. I'd like to be stronger, if I could. This function is not available at this time. My library is incomplete. I require a memory module detailing the appropriate medical procedures. Do you have such a module? Yeah, I, I got a blue memory module, right? I do. Can I... Where is it? Can I use this on the computer? I have a blue memory module. Is it for something else? Charismatic? Oh. This complex procedure requires three weeks of suspension time. Do you agree to this? Am I in a hurry? <laughs> Wait, let me, let me check. So basically I have the memory module for charisma. Currently I've got seven charisma. I heard charisma, if I get more charisma, I could actually get more companions. Are you in need of medical assistance? Yes. Be more charismatic. Three weeks. Let me quick save right here, just in case. So he's taken the, the memory module. Alright, let's try it. Let's become more charismatic. Yes, I agree. One moment, please, while I open the suspension tank. Please lie down in the tank and relax. Okay. The requested procedure has been completed. Please exit the suspension tank. Thank you. So is it like three weeks later? My charisma has gone up by one to eight. That should help some things. Does it have any info on it? I've got some questions. Please state your question. You're a computer, aren't you? I am Ace, artificial conscious entity. I am more than a machine, but not as highly developed as a true artificial intelligence. 
Is a true AI possible or are you the state of the art at this time? A true artificial intelligence is possible. A few such systems were completed for military purposes. The project was discontinued. Why? The suicide rate among true artificial intelligence machines was extremely high. When given full sensory capabilities, the machines became depressed over their inability to go out into the world and experience it. When deprived of full sensory input, the machines began to develop severe mental disorders, similar to those among humans who are forced to endure sensory deprivation. Hmm. Right. How do you feel? I, I sometimes think that I understand the feeling you call loneliness. I find it very disconcerting. I... I'm sorry, so let's change the subject. What do you know about the Enclave? Outward appearances suggest that the Enclave is nothing more than a military organization. However, their level of technology indicates they have access to advanced manufacturing techniques and research facilities. What do you know about the Brotherhood? Brotherhood of Steel is a paramilitary organization. Uh-huh. So there's no new info, right? No more questions. Okay, but I boosted my charisma. There's a couple lockers back here. So, if we get any memory modules, we can... Drop them here. What is that? Brotherhood armor? Power armor? How do I... Brotherhood armor, is that really good? It's quite good. Well, we can give this... Wait, we got power armor and brotherhood armor. Which is better, combat armor or brotherhood armor? Yeah. Uh... How do you ask someone to take off their armor? You can't, right? How do I do this? Because we got power armor. We can give Cassidy power armor. I can't pick that up. There we go. All right. Cassidy. Yeah. Uh, we can deck out our companions now. Actually, I didn't compare power armor to advanced power armor. 40, 35. It's not as good on strength either. All right, up? trade, come on, put on the power armor. Talk, combat controls, use best armor, trade. Now we got to compare this with the Brotherhood armor. Ah, oh, look at that, Cassidy's in power armor, oh, fantastic. So, can I take this one? Okay. Now let's compare. Which is better? 30, 5, 8, 4, 4, 6. 30. So, what is this? Brotherhood armor is better. So, Sulik gets Brotherhood armor. No more of this metal what armor stuff. Mean? Come on, trade. You can take that. Trade. Talk. Combat controls, use best armor, trade. I'm sure I pressed trade, right? Take that back. That's it for now. And uh, I need to. What do you want? Ask him to hold the armor because it's just getting too heavy. That's too much to carry. He's actually carrying too much. I've overloaded Marcus with too much stuff to carry. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, just grab this armor. Come on. There we go. So, we've got what we needed from here. If we get any more memory modules, we know where to come. Alright. And it seems to proceed to the Enclave. We got a meet the Emperor. And the Emperor is, um, well, we need to kill the Hubologists, I guess. 
no, no, no. Uh, ground. How do I get out? There we go. All right. So we've been going for a while. And uh, yeah, I think we can call today's stream to a close. Ah. Oh, we did so much progress. Way more progress than I thought we were going to do today. Uh, we got some hand-to-hand -hand training from this guy. We went to Navarro. We, uh, uh, we got the vertebrate plans. We gave them to the Brotherhood and the Emperor. Can this guy train me again? Teach me how to fight? Then we'll begin. Ah, we can learn how to fight again. <laughs> Punch. React to his punch. Is he supposed to be facing the other way? Training's done for the day. It's actually gone up. I think it was 70. It's now 83. Oh, fantastic. If we get into a fight, hammer punch. I didn't mean to click that. And... Take that off. Put this here. So we got hammer punch and power kick. Wow. Okay. Anyway, we've been going for a while. We gotta call the stream to a close. It's a nice good two parts. And um, all that's left is the Hubologists. We have... Well, getting the submarine. Getting the tanker. The military base. I'm not sure if we want to go to the military base. I mean, there's a few odds and ends, like the mines at Broken Hills. We can probably kill the Xenomorphs now. We could probably also save the Deathclaw if we know how to do that. But uh, generally, I think we're done. And next weekend, I don't know if we can finish the game. Because we got to get to the Enclave, kill them, I guess, and save our people. But for now, that's going to be it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been a good stream. And thank you so much for joining. All right. So... I'll see you in the next video. Bye.